Talk about uh, care packages, letters from home. Do you get them here, oh, or is it more? Do you get them here at the yes, PA office? Uh, Defenders of Freedom. I, I'm pretty sure. I think they're you know out of Texas. I, I know the, the one that's always sending me stuff. Uh, she, Joan Anderson. Uh, she. She sent me so many packages and stuff. Uh, it's ridiculous. Isn't it Donna Cranston's group? Um, I, maybe not. I, I'm just, I, I know, know she's with the USO yeah. in Dallas. I know the the person that was okay. named was on the box that I always uh, received. Defenders of Freedom. Yeah. 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 And uh, it was just you know there for a while. It's like every day we were getting boxes. You know, around Christmas time, of course, and it was phenomenal. And of course, uh, my sister, uh, she had. Uh, a church, uh, her church sent a bunch of boxes out here for soldiers in their unit as well, and uh, you know, the kids and stuff uh, sent uh, you know, homemade uh, greeting cards and stuff, and that was that was awesome. I mean, it was so many, and you know, you just can't answer them all or you know, anything like that, but it was so you know, nice. I think I still have a few in my desk, you know, the greeting cards and stuff, and it's really nice. But it means a lot to get them, oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Now I always tell people if you don't get an answer, it's okay. They really appreciate it. They're yeah. just very busy. Yeah, and it's, yeah. It, it's really kind of hard to answer yeah. from here. You know, just uh, especially like if they send it as a group or whatever. And it's just got one address to answer to. But yes, it's, it helps a lot. Yeah. What well, church was it, or is it? That's okay. Yeah, I, I could not. Remember. What home? You said your hometown. Well, your sister's? It's my sister's hometown in uh, Virginia. Okay. Great. Um, do you want to say a, give a shout out to family and friends back home, even though this may go online by the time you get home? But go ahead, just look in the camera and say hi to some people. Well, I'd like to say hi to all my family, uh, my mom and sisters and brothers. Uh, everyone is still living in Virginia, except for my older brother. He lives in Tennessee, Kingsport, Tennessee. Hey, bro, <laughs> he probably won't see it because he's he doesn't watch any. TV or listen to radio or nothing. He's always busy working. But, uh, and my son, of course, you know, back in Virginia as well. How old is your son? He's 21. Good. They'll all be glad to see you come back yeah. home for sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, what are we going to do next now? We're going to just kind of walk around the fob a little bit, Fob Fenty? Yeah, we'll walk around now and show you some, you know, how we're living here. Uh, okay. Some new buildings going on that, unfortunately, we won't, you know, enjoy as much as the next group, but. That's the way it works, you know, you come in, you build, and make it better for the next group coming in, so. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go outside and walk around. Right, Welcome to Five Pinty. Uh, we're going to do a little walk around and uh, show you some of the amenities we have here uh, on this fob that, you know, a lot of the uh, outlaw line posts do not have, uh, such as, you know, the cops and OPs and stuff. Uh, and first, uh, we're just going to start off with the U.S. mail, which is really important to the troops around here and uh, this will be the post office up here, right here coming on up left. on the left and yeah, this is where all our packages come through and goes out and uh, this whole building is dedicated to the postal service so now when the, the troops can actually drop an envelope in there right free mail on the envelope right yes okay all right um Mostly down through here, these are living quarters for uh, some of the senior uh, people that work in the uh, top for the headquarters uh, company. Yeah. Yeah, this, and this way, do you see the, uh, the big tent up here? These are the little vehicles I've been driving around on some of the fobs. Yeah, you see a lot of these little vehicles around. Uh, most of them, uh, you know, contractors uh, use them a lot because they're just the right size for this file basically. There's a little sign here that says post office customer entrance. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, right here. Right here to your left uh, says charges, that's your finance department. That's where we go to to get our cash in there. Uh, if we've got problems with our Eagle cash card or whatever it is, they can figure it out in here. Okay, down there? Yeah, this, this one right here. Right. See the big finance? Yep, I see it. Right around here. This uh, fenced-in area here, this is for the, uh, this is the end piece. Yeah. Run throughout the fob, protect their entry points. 
stores up here all over the left. We've got, uh, we've got some local shops offering things and things. Barber shops, rugs, DVDs, CDs, cameras, watches, whatever it is you want. Down here, real quick. Okay. You can easily get it. Yeah, I've been in some of these stores. Actually, I got a couple things in here from my son in law and, uh, and my grandkids and my daughter. Yeah, it's great for you know some gifts you can take back home that I uh, normally wouldn't find in the States. We also have you know, quite a few uh, of these shops, so you know, got to be careful. But... Now, I believe there's like uh, three of these shops that has uh, internet service. Uh, they provide internet service for folks over here on this spot. It's uh, wireless. Oh, they can just come in with their own laptop? Roger. Okay. They, you know, they pay a certain amount every month to access the internet. So they don't have to get in line if they don't have the hour. Right. I see some of them. Reporting from here in Afghanistan, I am Bob Calvert, your host at TalkingWithHeroes.com.